invite you to join me at Global Future 2045, which will be a fabulous Congress to explore uh, the brilliant future ahead. Well, we're going to become increasingly non-biological to the point where the non-biological part predominates and the biological part is not that important anymore. In fact, the non-biological part, the machine part, will be so powerful it can completely model and understand the biological part. So even if that biological part went away, it wouldn't make any difference because the, the non-biological part already understood it completely. We'll also have non-biological bodies. We can create bodies with nanotechnology. We can create virtual bodies and virtual reality. Then the virtual reality will be as realistic as real reality. The virtual bodies will be as detailed and convincing as real bodies. Um, we'll have different we'll have different ways we can create bodies. We do need a body. Our intelligence is directed towards a body, but it doesn't have to be this frail biological body that's subject to all kinds of failure modes. Well, I think we'll have a choice of bodies, but certainly if we routinely changing uh, our apparent body in virtual reality. So today you can have a different body in something like Second Life, but it's just a picture on the screen. Although uh, research has shown that people actually uh, begin to subjectively identify with their avatar. Uh, but in the future, it's not going to be a little picture in a virtual environment you're looking at. It'll feel like this is your body and you're in that environment and that your body is, is, some, is, is, a, is the virtual body and it can be as realistic as real reality and the environment can be as realistic as real reality. And so we'll, we'll be routinely able to change our bodies very quickly as well as our environments in virtual reality, but it will feel very real. We'll ultimately be able to do that with real reality too, like self-organizing swarms of nanobots that can link themselves up into a virtual body. If we had radical life extension only, uh, we would get profoundly bored. We'd have a profound existential ennui, uh, running out of things to do and new ideas. Uh, but that's not what's going to happen. Uh, in addition to radical life extension, we're going to have radical life expansion. We're going to have millions of virtual environments to explore. We're going to ex literally expand our brains. Right now we only have 300 million pattern recognizers organized in a grand hierarchy that we create ourselves in our neocortex. But we can make that 300 billion. 300 trillion. We can expand it. Uh, the last time we expanded it, with the frontal cortex, we created language and art and science. Just think of the qualitative leaps that we can't even imagine today when we expand our neocortex again. We'll be thinking grander, deeper, more hierarchical thoughts than ever before, uh, creating whole new institutions like art and science that, that we could not articulate. Uh, so we're not going to get bored. If, if that weren't the case, then I think, you know, living for hundreds, thousands of years would, would be a profound uh, philosophical uh, nightmare, but uh, instead we're headed for radical life expansion.